What is up guys, it's Bob here, and I'm not going to go ahead and give my full intro as I normally do, because this might be on multiple channels right now. Uh, I'm thinking about actually making my own channel, as many of you know that this channel that I'm posting it on, at least Full House RS, is a, a group channel, and uh, everybody has pretty much stopped making videos on it. So I figured I might as well split myself off from the group, as well as, I mean, if everybody comes back, I want to make videos with them as well again. Um, but it might be a little bit more difficult because I'm not playing RS3 anymore, and I'm not sure how much everybody else is playing. But yeah, this is um, something a little bit different. Sorry if you saw the uh, notepad pop up there, it's a little bit of my notes right there. Um, so I figured I'd go ahead and talk to you guys a little bit about uh, what's been going on in my life uh, in RS as well as in uh, real life. And what best way to show you that than with a bank video real quick. And uh, as you can see... I have 5.4 mil cash, and my first tab, of course, is all like junk tabs, and I use that for boosting thieving for elite clues because I have to do that pretty often. Uh, my second one is runes, and uh, my rune crafting stuff. This is where I keep like all my pickaxes and everything, and that's for um, the fertile soil spell, and that's for lunar like the teleports on the lunar spell work when I'm doing herb runs. This is just my random ranging tab. I use that to get into TKs. This is my random skilling tab. I use those for elites as well. This is my potion and seed tab. Um, and I have 3k natures because I used to use fertile soil, but I don't. Uh, I haven't done air runs in a while now. Uh, these are all from nests from um, miss throwing a miscellanea. And I keep all those until I fill up on them and then I wind up selling them out for a decent amount because it's easier to sell in bulk. This is my gems and random crap tab, pretty much. Like, I usually have gold ore for superheating and fletching supplies, and that's coal from miscellany as well, and all that fun stuff. Uh, don't know where that iron ore is from. That might be from... No, I don't think that's from Motherload Mine. I don't know where that's from, but I have that. Now, this is part of my main tab. Uh, I have probably three main tabs right now. And I don't know why that's here. That should be in there. Um, so you'll see here I have Slayer Rings, because I have 73 crafting. So that's pretty nice. Or, so, sorry, 76. I don't know why I said 73. So I can make those myself. And they have a lot of useful teleports for clue scrolls and everything. Uh, Sarah Page set, I actually bought those because I wanted to fill it, but I forgot I took a Zami book first. So I had to fill that before I could fill the Sarah one. Uh, just random, like, Rune Defenders and Ring of Wealth and all that stuff. Um, and then I have sharks, because right now I'm doing barrows, so I'm using sharks, uh, per potions, which I use super restores and, uh, arm drain stats. So I have 823 of those left. Brews are just from leftover for when I was doing some, um, DKs. Uh, I have a Sarah Godsword now. I bought that for about 34 mil, I believe, and now it's 30 mil. Uh, this is actually an Abyssal Whip with just a uh, cosmetic override on it, because um, Bounty Hunter came out, and they have like mixes that change what your whip looks like, and I like the Frozen one better than the Lava one, so I went ahead and uh, bought that. Uh, full Gothins for Barrows, because it's nice to heal on the little guys. Fire Cape, Fury, Trident for the Melee Brothers, and I, also, I use um, Melee for both Carol and Arams, because I feel like it is way more useful than uh, taking a range switch, because I can take uh, 10 pea pots then, and then Dragon Boots and everything. Then um, this is my Treasure Trail equipment tab, but I need if I ever need anything on here, it'll be right here. Uh, I just bought that Seer Call recently because I got that, and the combat bracelet and all that. Um, I actually use this uh, Black Dehyde and the Carol Skirt when I'm uh, doing clues because it gives mage defense for, like... Um, I use it usually for hard clues, but I actually started using it for elites for some reason, too. I'm not 100% sure why. This one is my Slayer slash uh, Clue tab. And right now I'm only really getting elites because I'm doing barrows. And, uh, yeah, not the greatest uh, reward so far from elites. They've kind of been disappointing, kind of pissing me off. But what can you do? I've done, only done eight so far in barrows and, uh, in like almost 300 chests, which is kind of lame, but I guess it's not too bad. Um, and then the one that I'm working on, the tab I'm working on right now, and I'm not sure if I'm going to make a video when I finish this or not, is the, uh, Barrows tab, and, uh, I have it all nice and organized right now with all the drops I've gotten. Uh, I have Darox, uh, 
Carol. 21 pieces total. And I believe it is 297 chests so far. And these deaths in chaos aren't going to be accurate because I use those to recharge my trident. So this would probably actually be... Usually the way it works is it's double, 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 and double. So Bloods and Bolt Racks are usually about the same. I'm surprised it's that much of a difference. Oh, I bought 2k uh, Bloods to start. That's And I use them every now and then for when I'm doing them. Um, I use a burst, so that's why it's a lot different than the bolt racks, because that's actually only like 6,400, and I have 7,600 bolt racks. Uh, 8,750 deaths, 75k mine, so I'll be at 100k relatively soon. Um, I'm not sure how many chests it'll take. I'd estimate probably around like 800, so I'm not even like halfway there yet. So I'll probably wind up with almost 200k uh, mine runes. That'd be interesting. And uh, then 23k chaos. So I figure I'll probably make up probably about 100 mil from that. And my bank's probably about 60, 70 mil right now. So that'll be a nice uh, stack. I'll buy 99 range and everything for that. And uh, that takes me on to the, my next part, which is my skills in general right now. So I'll go ahead and show you what I have right now. Uh, 93, 92, 92. Um, the only reason I have 93 attack is because when I'm at Barrows, it automatically defaults to attack, and I actually got an attack level while doing Barrows, so that's the only reason that it's at 93, because I usually try to keep these pretty even. 78 range, 72 prayer, 86 magic. I'll probably wind up getting another magic level soon, even though Trident gives, like, no mage at all. Uh, 93 runecrafting, which is big, um... I did 91 probably about four to five months ago now, and that was at um, Lava Runes because I wanted to get 91 as fast as possible. And uh, I've just slowly been doing it as much. Uh, anytime I really wanted money and I didn't feel like doing PVM, I would just runecraft, and I'm like 250k off of 94 now, which is pretty nice. Uh, construction, I need to get up soon, and I want to do prayer. 94 HP, so I'm actually on pace right now to get untrimmed HP, which would be kind of cool but i'll probably wind up getting um the range uh i don't know if range will get there before hp does because i'm buying 99 range after i finish barrows but then i'll have to get void and do some nightmare zone for the amulet and everything so we'll see 74 agility i just get that i did a decent amount of agility because i needed to replace my graceful at times so that's why i have 74 76 herb i do all herb lore from herb seeds um, I farm my own herb seeds and then I make my own um, potions from it. And then thieving, I actually got up to 69 recently. It was at 53, but I needed it for a uh, elite. So I just figured I'd get three levels off and then boost with the spicy stew because I really don't feel like doing thieving right now. 76 crafting was for uh, slayer rings. 70 fletching was for an elite. 88 slayer. I uh, finally got krakens not that long ago, and then I stopped doing slayer again to do barrows and rune crafting and everything. But I'll get back into slayer after I finish uh, 99 range. And uh, I have a zami task actually right now, so I'll be doing that once I finish range. Nine Hunter, I'm going to keep that until I get a Red Shin requirement for an Elite, so hopefully that doesn't happen anytime soon, because I think it looks pretty cool. 64 Mining, doesn't really go up. 67 Smithing, I could get that up to like 80-something right now if I wanted to do some magic, but I don't. Fishing is 89, I do that anytime I AFK, like if I play Xbox or if I do um, schoolwork or anything. 70 cooking has been like that since I did Recipe for Disaster, and I don't plan on doing that anytime soon. 50 fire making is easy. Uh, 65 wood cutting. I was wood cutting use for a while and then stopped doing that. And then 71 hunter, er, not hunter, farming. And that's um, from, I think, 32 till now is all off of herb seeds, which is kind of cool. So I guess that's something to be proud of. So uh, I'll talk about some of the old school updates that have come out and uh, that are going to come out, hopefully in the near future. Uh, most recently, Corp came out, and Corp has always been one of my favorite bosses to do, and uh, I always did like six-man teams back in the day, and then trios when uh, Dreadnips came out and everything, and then I soloed for a little while as well with the Stadius Warhammer, and I wound up soloing an Arcane and getting a Spectre on a mess after I missed if I man to bind, so that wasn't that fun. But uh, in the old school one, there is no Divine Sigil, which is kind of lame, Um I feel like it kind of defeats the purpose of Corp, so hopefully that gets repolled because people thought it was a little bit too overpowered, I guess. And uh, there's only an Elijah right now, and that's like 350 mil already, which isn't that great. Um, 
the updates that are gonna come out uh, also like i mentioned bounty hunter came out but i really don't care about um pking at all so i'm not really gonna touch on that at all um the updates that are they're talking about coming out is a a new continent which will be kind of cool um they're supposed to release a kind of like a raid style thing which seems kind of interesting seems kind of like dungeoneering but for pvm which would be kind of cool and then they're also thinking about releasing more slayer bosses like an abyssal demon slayer boss which i think everybody's been waiting for for a long time and then a hellhound boss which is kind of peculiar peculiar i don't know what they'll wind up dropping since they only drop clue scrolls right now but I, I always welcome um, Slayer updates because it always just makes Slayer more and more enjoyable and gives me more and more bosses to kill. So that is fine with me. Um, the last thing I really want to touch on, and I know this video is getting kind of long, I've been recording for about 11 minutes now, is uh, what has been going on in real life right now. And as you, some of you may know, I'm in my second to last semester right now in school, and uh, I'm actually finishing off on online classes because um, I'm doing department manager my work right now, and I want to get as much hours as possible there so I can get some uh, get some work experience as well as being able to do school at the same time. So I figured online classes would be the best. Uh, it gives me a, a decent amount of time to do my schoolwork and not have to worry about going to a classroom instead of just taking it online. So I feel like that worked out pretty well. Um, I also bought an Xbox One when uh, Destiny came out. And I absolutely love Destiny. A lot of people seem to be giving it a, a lot of rough reviews. But I feel like it's a, a really solid game. Um, but it's only really fun if you have people to play with. And um, other than that, I actually got a dog about three months ago. And um, I had, my dog had died probably about two years ago maybe a year and a half ago and we didn't we weren't sure if we were going to get another one my mom was kind of against it because she had to take care of the dog so much when she passed away like she was having accidents in the house and everything so now i guess she got turned around when she saw the uh the commercial for our dogs we actually adopted her from a, a humane society around where we are and uh now we have a new addition to the family and she's a, a miniature doberman and beagle mix so she's a smaller dog and my mom always wanted a lap dog so i feel like she's happy now and uh she's kind of crazy but apart from that guys uh this is a little bit of an update video uh go ahead and leave me feedback on what you guys think about me uh creating my own channel and uh i'll actually throw a link in the description to the new channel and you can uh, subscribe if you want to uh if not that's fine with me and not i know uh old school content's not for everybody as a uh, i used to play rs3 too but i don't really play it much anymore so until next time guys i'll see you later